Video games are one of the biggest entertainment mediums of all time. Ever since the video game boom in the late 70s and early 80s, everyone and their grandmother has heard of a video game. Of course, there was Pong. Donkey Kong. Galaga. Centipede. And of course, world famous Polybius. Oh wait, we don't talk about that one. These are famous arcade cabinet arcade video games. But what about home video games? Video games that you can play in the safety and comfort of your own home in front of the family television. Everyone has heard of the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Sega Genesis, but oh, oh yes, the Bit Wars, Mario vs. Sonic. That war went on for so long. But what about another market? The PC market, the personal computer market. Computers back in the day were capable of running retro video games, but only if you had a huge, deep, full pocket that's full of golden coins, because computers were expensive. If you did have a computer, it could most likely play video games. And if you want to play games on your computer, I know you sure as heck have heard of a game called Doom. <laughs> The year is 1993, and it was a beautiful, magnificent year for video games. There was Mega Man X, Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Secret of Mana, and many others. Doom was the smash hit for PC gamers that year. Never in the entire world has anyone seen the caliber of a game like Doom. The games preceding Doom was the classic Wolfenstein 3D, which was made by the same people in software. What makes Doom so special in the video game world, however? What happened to the entire industry after it released, and what about its legacy? And what do people really think about Doom? Well, lock and load your super shotguns, for we are about to get knee deep in the dead with why Doom is so meaningful to the gaming world. Doom was special because it was revolutionary in legit every sense of the word. And graphics were spectacular! I know nowadays we have amazing visual spectacles such as The Last of Us Part 2 and Final Fantasy 16, Cyberpunk 2077, and many more. These games look so incredibly real and detailed. It's like you can put your hand through the TV and just feel the warmth and fuzziness of a chocobo. But you have to remember that this was the 1990s, and games were just insanely different back then. If people from the 90s saw games today, they would probably have a heart attack. Doom's visuals were very cool back in the day, and they really set the bar for future PC graphics. They actually looked kind of real for the technology during the time. The gameplay was fast and always required you to pay huge amounts of attention. The amount of weapons that you had at your disposal was so addicting to use, with every weapon being useful in the right situations. And the music. The music was something that people constantly loved. And to this day, people make remixes and modern compositions of the same old music. The music fitted the game so well. It was based off of music from Slayer, Metallica, Pantera, and all bunch of ear-splitting noises that parents hated. Everyone who touched this game and loved the action genre had to have been hooked. And don't forget that this was a day and age where platformers and small game action games were the king of the world. First person shooters were not popular at all. But what about Doom's story? I mean, there has to be a story. I mean, you can't just be running around shooting demons for no reason, right? Well, of course, there is a story in Doom, but the story really doesn't matter. At least until they make it matter in later games. All that matters is that you're a space marine, there are demons amok, and you have weapons in your hands. You do the math on what you're supposed to do. After Doom release, everyone took notes from this triumph. First was level designing for future 3D games. 
the advent of actual 3D gaming was arriving soon, with more PC titles going to utilize the technology, and the big boy home consoles were arriving in just a few years, which were Sony's PlayStation and the Nintendo 64. The small tight corridors to the big open spaces you could see throughout Doom was breathtaking, and quite the spectacle to see back in the 90s. It was the variety and differences of each level that really mattered. I mean, no level looked exactly the same. And Doom laid the blueprints for future first-person shooters to take over the world with. First-person shooters would not be the same without Doom. They really wouldn't. And it inspired future games. Games like this were Turok and Half-Life and Halo for Microsoft's first console, Xbox. Games that weren't first-person shooters were also getting inspired for its capabilities of graphics and gameplay. One game that comes to my mind is Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. It has similar styles of presentation, despite being an entirely different genre. People obviously wanted more Doom after this smash hit. There was Doom 2, of course. I mean, there had to be a sequel. I mean, you're just gonna leave that you're just gonna leave that huge franchise behind. <laughs> no way, man. There was a sequel. There was also Final Doom, which was like a not Doom 3, but kind of Doom 3. It's complicated. Doom 64, which trust me, there wasn't you know 60 other titles. It was on the on Nintendo 64, and they wanted to follow suit on Nintendo's uh, uh, naming of their titles on the 64 with the 64 at the end it was confusing and no one really get, got it no one understood it and then there was doom 3 i mean you're gonna go from doom 64 to doom 3 okay that's not confusing at all totally and then there was the doom reboot here recently which everyone just calls it doom 2016 and then the most recent title doom eternal releasing as a recording this 2020 this year all of these games were huge hits and very successful, with maybe Doom 3 being called a black sheet due to being a little bit different than the other entries, but still being a good game regardless. Each title that came out was bigger and badder and more incredible than the last. And when I say badder, I mean as in, whoa, this is epic. The latest title, Doom Eternal, being the biggest the series has ever seen and, most, and one of the most successful. This game is something that's been around for generations, and I firmly believe it would be here from generations to come. I mean, it's a gaming household name. There is no way it's stopping anytime soon. I mean, it's like if Coca-Cola decided to stop making drinks one day. It will never end. Well, I guess everything does end eventually, but as long as first-person shooters exist and people still enjoy it and want to play them, there will always be more Doom, regardless if it's bad or not. After all of that, these are just my words and my voice, so I decided to gather some of my personal friends online and ask them their thoughts and opinions on the Doom franchise. Here's what they had to say. Always something that was a bit risque. It was something that was always had its place in like, if some people discerned it as Satanism, other people discerned it as a fun thing to do on the side after work, I don't know. For me, it's, it's the thing that really got me into first-person shooters and stuff, and games like that. It was just something new and original, I mean, it, just, it wasn't something that had ever been seen before because of the religious implications that came behind it. Um, and then when they did the reboot of the series, amazing soundtrack, amazing game design, incredible everything. I just loved it. Doom 2016 was incredible. I haven't been able to afford Eternal yet, but I have high hopes and when I can afford it, I shall definitely play it multiple times. Doom is one of the most influential video games of all time and is especially influential towards the first person shooter genre. Without Doom, we wouldn't have shooter games like Call of Duty and Fortnite thanks to the fact that the first Doom game revolutionized the shooter game industry by implementing a new style of shooter game mechanics along with it being in 3D and due to its success, it caused a ton of imitators of the game that improved the Doom style even further which led to the shooter games we have today. Me, however, the reason I really liked the games in the franchise from what I played is because of the gameplay alone. It feels great to rip and tear through demons, pun absolutely intended. Just being able to shoot, blow up, and slice through hordes of enemies while they try to get the upper hand just feels beautiful, really. So why do I like Doom? I mean, it's just fun. You know, with the newer Doom titles, they're just made to have a blast. With all the weapons and, and demons and the heavy metal soundtrack, it's really just the kind of game you can just turn your brain off and turn the music up and slay demons for hours. It's great. Uh, you know, when it comes to the older games, though, completely different kind of gameplay. You're still blasting demons, and it's it's a blast, but, like, levels 
get kind of hard, especially in like two and three. But when it comes to the older games, you know, they have a lot of things that make them pretty iconic and that really gave it a lot of an impact. It's brutal and gory, and back then, boy, that was that was a story. I remember the Mortal Kombat situation. You know, it's one of the first-person shooters, at least that I can remember. Uh, it's heavily moddable. There's got to be thousands of mods for Doom 1. Uh, there's even some games that are just straight up built off of the Doom engine. Uh, it's also incredibly open with its source code, surprisingly. I mean, it's people have gotten this game running on anything from toasters to smart fridges. It's nuts what people have gotten this game to run on. And it's, it, it may not be as much of a household name anymore, but I can still go ask my parents about Doom, and they remember playing it. And they don't even play games, really, anymore at all. So, I think that says something about how iconic Doom's gotta be. Uh, and yeah, you know, that's why I like Doom. And that's why I think it's had such an impact on the gaming world. In the end, if the likes of Doom didn't come out when it did, I promise you that the entire gaming industry would be vastly different. Doom is a game that will be around for generations to come due to its legacy and recognition by the gaming world. I mean, it's been so long that people's parents played Doom when they were younger, and now their offspring could potentially be playing the latest entry. I bet just seeing them play Doom Eternal brings a huge smile on their face, knowing that they played Doom back in 1993 or later. Think of it this way. Each genre has its major successes, but first-person shooters would not be the same without Doom coming in and starting the revolution. From its gameplay, its graphics, the music, it's just hard to imagine a world without Doom. I mean, who would have stepped up to the plate and revolutionized the genre? Let's just be glad that id Software decided to make a game where we can always rip and tear demons and always have fun no matter what we're feeling. And thank you for listening, and that's why Doom is so meaningful to the gaming world. Thank you.